Okay, so um, today I'm going to show you this room here, which is essentially my dressing room and office room. And obviously at the moment it's very Christmassy. Probably not going to show you too much of the dressing room side, but I'll go into the office and I'm going to go into details about where everything's from. Um, I'll go into details about the tree and everything as well and every, where everything's from on that. So let's go inside. So this is what the room looks like. So you can see obviously on this left hand side here, we have the um, sort of dressing room side. It's also where I have like my Cricut machine and everything. So obviously I work from home and I don't, <laughs> this sounds so lame, but I don't go out very much. So I don't tend to actually use this dressing room side that often. So I kind of have it as a bit of a workstation. I can briefly show you guys that, but this will be the main area that I show you, which is my office. So I'm going to go in and we can have a little bit, a look a little bit further. So I'll just go through roughly on this side where everything's from. So um, the mirror is from a shabby store. Obviously, as I mentioned here, I have my Cricut maker and everything. So I haven't started doing anything with this yet, but stay tuned. I have some stuff exciting that's coming up for that. So this side, I kind of went for like a pinks and golds. I do really like it, but I think when I move eventually, I'm going to go back to rose golds. I do like the gold, but I miss the rose gold on this side. These prints here are from Decenio, as are the frames. The curtains and the curtain pole are from the range. This um, clothing rail is from Amazon. The hangers are also from Amazon. And the clothes, which annoyingly aren't even spread out evenly, I do apologise if you're a bit OCD, that's probably really annoying. Um, but I've kind of kept it to white nudes and pink clothes in here. This chair that I have for my beauty side is the comfiest chair ever, by the way. But it's from Beautify, so I'll put the link to that. It's a really gorgeous chair. It's sort of got like the petal details. But yeah, and also the desk um, dressing table is also from Beautify as well. The flowers are from PH Flowers. If you ever see flowers in my home, nine times out of 10, they will be from there. Okay, so what you guys actually came here for, the Christmassy office. Now I'm just gonna shut the door so we can kind of take a better look around. So as you come in here, obviously it is now the Christmas tree. Before I used to have the cat's chase lounge here. Yes, my cats have their own chase lounge. <laughs> so I have like some presents and everything here. And then when you sort of map over, you have my main desk with all the bits on it. Again, I'll go through this where it's all from. The wall is all paneled, which is like my favorite thing ever. I'm so glad we did that. I absolutely love it. And then if I kind of map over to the other side, it's not very exciting, but I had to have my lamp and then my printer and a print that was also from Desenio as well, just kind of hiding the wires behind there. But yeah, so I'm going to kind of dive into where everything's from. I'll probably start with the tree. So actually, before I do the tree, these um, canvas prints are pink and rose gold. They are from the range. I actually got them in the sale. They were so cheap. I can't even remember how much they were. Maybe like four pound each, something crazy, but really like them, but they're from the range. So the tree itself is from We Are Christmas. It's their seven foot slim flocked tree. Um, so it's all snowy. And yeah, so that's what we put in here. Obviously we couldn't fit it in the living room, but we do have our living room arch. Um, if you've not seen it or you have seen it and you're wondering how we made that, I'll put the link here to the video, which explains everything. The tree is pre-lit, which is amazing because, oh my God, how annoying is it trying to wrap the lights around? So this is the first year we've gone for a pre-lit tree and I will never go back to not having a pre-lit one. It's so much easier. The, um, Bow at the top is from Home Bargains. Um, no, it's not. The bow at the top is from The Range. The other bows are from Home Bargains. Apologies. So that bow is from The Range. All these sort of bits that you see sticking out are from B&M. The white ones, I'm not sure because I got them a few years ago. Probably B&M or The Range, I would imagine. The tinsel is from B&M. The baubles are from a mixture of B&M, The Range, Inspirations Wholesale, and some from Kedals, which is our local garden centre. These ones here, which are like the super cute, like donut baubles, they're from The Range. 
These bows are from Home Bargains, <laughs> these sort of velvety pink bows. The flower is from, now apologies because I have to keep stopping to think because that was a while ago. It's either B&M or I think that one might actually be Hobbycraft. The swans that I have here, these are also from Hobbycraft. I have two of them. The big um, pink peacocks are from B&M. The rose gold flower and the Merry Christmas sign here. They're from the range. Um, the gonks I have in the tree, so you can see there's one there. That's from the range. The crackers were from B&M last year. And the reindeers in the tree are from, the big ones from the range, the smaller ones are from B&M. Now, the wrapping paper I used for that present, that present, and that one down there are from B&M. So that was a pack of three wrapping papers. This box here is from Christie Homeware, so it's actually got a dressing gown in it. So it's one of the first sort of Christmas presents. I say it's got a dressing gown in it, it totally doesn't. I opened it and I took the dressing gown out. I, it's the 1st of December, so I treated myself to a present. And then, um, yeah, it was too cosy to put back in. So, but I've left the box there because I think the box looks really nice. I actually have a Bottega Seco bottle down there as well. You can't really see it. And then these present boxes here, they do light up, but I just kind of like them as they are. They're from We Are Christmas as well as the tree. Now I'm gonna try and show you, let me move this actually. This tree skirt that I have is like a white metal tree skirt. That's from We Are Christmas as well. Oh gosh, breaking the place. So I think that's everything on the tree. If I have forgotten anything guys, just shout. But as I said, all the decorations are either from B&M, Home Bargains, gosh, I need a glass of water, The Range, Inspirations Wholesale or Keydells, which is my local garden centre. Okay, moving on to the desk. Actually, what I'll do is talk about the panelling first. So the panelling, we did, um, Callum mainly did it. I did the painting um, and Callum did all like, the woodwork. These bits of wood here, these ones, are from B&Q. Now, they're just like bits of MDF. We got a bunch of them, cut them to size. We've got a bigger bit in the middle. And then if I just come over here, you can see there's also panels at the bottom level. This is all painted in the Frenchic paint, dusky pink. Um, I absolutely love the color. I think it's gorgeous. So yeah, that's the panelling. Onto my desk here. So the gonk that's sort of sitting on the table is from the range. I love that. I also have one in the living room as well. These flowers are from PH Flowers, as I said, <laughs> like all my flowers are from there. Um, I do have a discount code for them as I am a rep for her. Um, it's home of CC10, I'll put it on the screen. So do go check her wonderful business out. She has some amazing Christmas bits, flowers. I mean, if you literally just look around my home, you'll pretty much see a PH Flowers arrangement in every single room. <laughs> I love them so much. So the Christian Dior book, that's actually a storage book. So it lifts up and I can put like little bits in. That's from a company called Book Decor UK. Now I will link that Instagram page in the comment section, in the comment section, in the description. This flower that I have on the desk is just for Christmas purposes. This one here. Um, and that was from Hobbycraft, I think, last year. The, oh, move this photo a second. This phone holder stand thing, <laughs> I have my watch around it as well, um, is from Amazon. It's really cute. It's just really handy when I'm working. I can have my phone sort of there so I can just see it. But whilst I have, but I don't have my phone there, I just have this photo that we printed yesterday actually on my new printer. This computer is 
from well, it was an Apple iMac. It's the pink one, of course. I got very excited when I saw they brought out a pink computer. Now, this is actually from Curry's. So I bought it from Curry's and it comes with the magic keyboard and the mouse there, as you can see. Really, really beautiful. And I've just put a Christmas cracker. <clears throat> Oh my god note to self bring a bottle of water when doing videos oh sorry um the cracker again is just from the multi-pack i got from b&m last year my chair so it's got the rose gold bottom now i wish it had wheels well, i don't know what i do because obviously i'd wheel around everywhere if it had wheels on and there's not much room in here to wheel around but it's really stiff to try and move but i love it i think it looks beautiful it's got some sort of button detailing on this side and it's a really nice rose gold color and that is from the range uh, i think it was 99 pounds the bolster obviously i don't sit on the chair with the bolster cushion there but i just like to have it there whilst i'm not on it and that is from home bargains but i know they also do ones like that in asda i think so if you can't find it in home bargains they have them in asda as well Moving over to my desk, this um, keep, uh, what's it called? Mouse mat um, is from Amazon. The lettering Callum did, it's just stick on lettering. I can't remember where that's from. The bottles I have here, I absolutely love them. So this one is obviously like a bamboo lid, pink bottle with my name on it and a Starbucks cup with my name on it. They're from a company called The Gifted Sisters. Now I will link them below in the description box as well so you can go take a look. The pinboard, is it a pinboard machine? Not machine. Pin, it's just a pinboard, right? Pinboard. Anyway, this one here is from Ginger A. Um, and so are the letters, and I've just got home and CC with a heart on it. I originally bought it for my afternoon tea that I hosted at my flat, the old flat. But now I have it in my office with Home of CC on it because I really like it. This marble pot, gosh, I think actually that's from Sainsbury's when we used to have a Sainsbury's here. Um, the pens are the rose gold multi-clicky pens. I got very excited when I saw these. They were from Home Bargains, I'm pretty sure. I just have a random bauble there because the cat's knocked it off the tree. And I've not been bothered to put it back on, so I've just left it in my pot. These, so I have another pen here, which is obviously a rose gold pen. They don't write rose gold, they just write black. I don't know where they were from, maybe Sainsbury's as well. This little rose gold notebook. I'm trying to think where that's from. Oh, Sainsbury's, yeah. So that's from Sainsbury's as well. And this... Um, book here is from Collins so you can see that I will put that a link to their Instagram and everything in the description box they have some really really nice notebooks and it's like um can you see it's like rose gold on the end of the paper yeah really beautiful hence why I have it out on display here and this is what I use to make my notes for work um, the desk itself is from Ikea, it's their Malm, is that how you say it? Malm dressing table, but I use it as a desk. I'll probably use it as a dressing table when we move home, because my office is going to be much bigger in the new house. So it's going to, this would be way too small for it. So I'll probably have this back as a dressing table when we move. But for now, it's perfect as an office desk. So the light is just a floor standing light. Now, this light actually usually lives in this corner, but obviously with the Christmas tree there, it's moved over here. So um, this was from Amazon, but you can buy the same one at Argos. I'll see if I can find the Amazon one and link it down below, but it's really nice and it sort of just swivels. So it's really easy to sort of like move the top of it around. Um, yeah, just really pretty. It used to be in our living room, but I moved it to the office. Again, like I said, this print is from, did I say where this print is from? Anyway, it's Desenio. Um, Like I say, it's just kind of hiding the wires. And my printer is just a Canon printer. It's the Canon TS5 3, 
52. If I've got that right, I'm very impressed. But yes, yeah, so it's a pink printer. It was funny because I was literally saying the other day to Callum, oh my God, how cool would it be to have a pink printer? And then we found one. Um, so yeah, ordered it, obviously. I actually got it from Amazon. So I will see if Amazon still have any in stock. It was really hard to find any in stock. And the one place I did find it was selling it at a ridiculous price because it was sold out everywhere. But um, yeah, I'll see if it still has it in stock. But guys, that is pretty much it. I don't think I've missed anything. I'm just gonna move back so I can show you the whole room again. So, yes, this is my dressing room office. So you can kind of see it's like a best of both worlds, two rooms in one. And my office, which was obviously the main focus for this, lives on this side. Now, if you guys are ever wondering when you see our home stuff, why there are numbers on the doors, it's because this was initially let out to students. So every student had their own like room number and everything. Um, but we're only temporarily renting this. So the landlord may rent it out to students again after us. So... We're not changing that. Um, actually, I think they're selling it after us, but anyway. Um, let me see if I can do like a zoom out on the whole room to show you a bit better. The only problem with rooms that are like a little bit smaller, it's really hard to sort of film it and show you it all. You can kind of see it a bit better there, can't you? This is where you all guys are like, no, what are you doing? Um, yeah, there we go. So that is my office room i'll do a few close-ups for you guys if i've forgotten where anything's from it'll probably be tagged in my instagram over at home of cc if not just let me know and i will get back to you thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys next time bye